You're watching Tornado Facts with Bean Rock 124, Season 3, Episode 2, or Episode 42. My name is Nathan, and I love talking about tornadoes. If you did not know that already. Alright, let's see. Today is a tornado outbreak that happened in Alabama. Just like um, what's been happening these past several months. I believe in the past several months there have been about nine tornado outbreaks in Alabama, so that's not my problem because I'm not down there. But anyways, today we are talking about the tornado outbreak of December 16, 2000. It was it was a destructive tornado outbreak that hit the southeastern United States from Mississippi to North Carolina. The most significant tornado of the outbreak occurred in communities south and east of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Go figure. The tornado, the F4 tornado killed 11 and injured more than 125. Uh, it was the strongest tornado that hit the state of Alabama since December of 1950. Or, sorry, I misread that. It was the strongest tornado to hit the state of Alabama in the month of December since 1950. Because I know for a fact that you've been hit by several other strong tornadoes, uh, <clears throat> F5 on April 9, 1998. So, yeah. But this is going to be a short Tornado Facts video because it is. So here's damage to trees, homes, and trailers in uh, south, uh, I believe south Tuscaloosa. Um, or south of Tuscaloosa. So here are the confirmed tornadoes. None unrated, 10F0, 3F1, 9F2, 1F3, 1F4, no, um, fortunately no F5 for a total of 24 tornadoes. Uh, 12 deaths in Alabama. One of them from an F2 in Geneva, Alabama. Uh, 100 homes were destroyed and 5 mobile homes were destroyed in and around Geneva. So, let's keep going with the streak of mobile homes being destroyed. That's nice to see. And then the F4 in Tuscaloosa, southwest of Tuscaloosa to southeast of Cottondale is on the ground 18 miles. Uh, 1254 and touchdown and 112. This is based off of UTC time, however... So it'd be 6.54 and 7.12, but I'd like to go off to Central Standard Time, so that's the time there. Um, 11 deaths with that tornado, and here's the rest of them, as you can see here. So, in Tuscaloosa, the tornado touched down just before 12.54 p.m. I was right, near the Black Warrior River in southern Tuscaloosa County, and pro proceeded northeastward for 18 miles across the communities of Inglewood, Hinton Place, Hillcrest Meadows, Bear Creek, and Woodland Forest. A tornado emergency was issued for the area before it lifted near Cottondale, east of Tuscaloosa, near the concurrent I-20 I-59. At its peak intensity, the tornado was about 750 yards wide, nearly half a mile, and the worst damage was located near the Bear Creek and Hillcrest Meadows where F4 damage occurred and homes were completely leveled. Uh, near I-5920, several commercial buildings, including hotels and restaurants, were heavily damaged and a shopping center near I-69, or Highway 69, was also hit and uh, partially destroyed. Damage was estimated at over 12 million. More than 40 houses and 70 mobile homes were completely destroyed, with hundreds more seriously damaged. Now, this was the deadliest tornado since the Birmingham F5 that um, killed 32 people across portions of northwestern Jefferson County on April 8, 1998. I know I just said April 9, but I thought it was April 9, sorry. Uh, the, that tornado started just northeast of Tuscaloosa during the evening hours, demolishing numerous structures south and west of the Birmingham metro. Uh, since records have been kept in 1950, the Tuscaloosa tornado in 2000 is the third deadliest tornado in December, tied with an F4 tornado near Murfreesboro on December Murfreesboro, Illinois, uh -huh, on December 18, 1957, and the Vicksburg. And this is behind. These two tornadoes are behind the Vicksburg, Mississippi F5 tornado on December 5, 1953, that killed 33 people, and the infamous Mayfield tornado. We all know what day that happened on. Uh, that tornado killed 58. This tornado was part of a supercell thunderstorm that developed across Mississippi before traveling across Alabama, dropping more tornadoes in St. Clair and Etowah counties. Additional tornadoes were confirmed northwest of Birmingham and Jasper. Now, Tower Cam. Um, there's a very um, famous Tower Cam footage, uh, very similar to April 27 of 2011, that was captured on ABC 3340 with James Spann. Um, 
The tornado was caught on uh, the station's tower cam just uh, outside downtown Tuscaloosa along I-5920 at Woodland Road and on Highway 82. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences gave James Spann um, an Emmy Award for the event with the tornado being on the live cam. Not only was James Spann the one live on... Um, what do you call it? ABC 3340 during the tornado outbreak. Mark Prater and John Olshue were also there as well. Anyways, the tornado was followed from Inglewood to just near its passage south of downtown Tuscaloosa, where the reception was lost due to a torrential downpour. And so with that, that's Nathan's Weather Show. No, it's not. I did this last time. <sighs> I love doing Nathan's Weather Show every day. This is what it's done to me. This has been Tornado Facts with Green Rock 124, Season 3, Episode 2, talking about the tornado outbreak of December 16, 2000. And that is it. So with that, goodbye. And no, this is not Nathan's Weather Show. So just because you heard me say it one time doesn't mean it is. So yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm going to end the video now.